How do we as Christians welcome refugees without sacrificing national security? Our Catherine Zeltner sits down with Sean Callahan, Chief Operating Officer of Catholic Relief Services, for his perspective. Sean, more than two dozen governors are saying they are closing the doors to Syrian refugees. What's your take on that? You know, we can understand the reaction and, and people being frightened by this uh, refugee crisis and by the terrorists coming uh, into Europe and, and all. But really, from our perspective, there's very, very little chance that these refugees are going to be terrorists. They spend 18 to 24 months being reviewed and screened. They've traveled through several other countries prior to coming uh, to the United States, and they've been screened into those countries. And many of them have spent three to four years in refugee camps as well. Uh, in the region, either in Lebanon, Turkey, or Jordan. And so they have really been screened, and there's much easier ways if terrorists wanted to get into the country that they could. Mm, but in light of the Paris terror attack, how do you balance between welcoming refugees with open arms, but being smart and being safe? Does there need to be more of a vetting process? Sure. Well, I think the vetting process won't get any easier for anyone, so I'm sure that Homeland Security will continue that ongoing vetting process. As well, I think as the Holy Father had said, we need to welcome people in. This isn't the time for us to shut the door when people are in need. Many of these refugees are trying to escape that same terrorism that we saw in Paris. So they are feeling it day in and day out when they were in Syria or when they were in Iraq or when they were in Afghanistan. So I think it, it is something that we as a culture have to be brave enough to understand that we have procedures for vetting and we can't walk frightened. I think if we do, then the terrorists and ISIS have won. We need to maintain our values and our spirit of reaching out and helping people. Mm. Sean, a very small percentage of the Syrian refugees coming into the U.S. are Christian. Is that concerning to you? Where are those persecuted Christians? Well, it doesn't concern me per se that a small number are Christian that are coming here. Many of the Christians that we see have not taken the traditional routes that many of the other refugees have going into refugee camps. They've assimilated into some of the local communities. They've stayed with families and friends of people in the neighboring countries, and they're looking for that same advantage coming into the United States or into the European countries. So they are trying to make those connections instead of going through the formal routes. I see. Sean, thank you so much for your perspective.